there was no future in Europe for young people. We landed in Montreal. I was 19. Don't look for me among the gardens. Don't look for me where flowers grow. At this machine for endless hours, I am here where sorrows flow. I am here where sorrows flow. Of course I went to work in a factory, in a dress factory, and I was making dresses. red, lips blue, the bloodless cheeks, forehead pale, damp, breathing fitful, hot. Three girls sit sewing. The needle glints, linen is like snow, and one thinks I, I sew, sew and sew, sew. I, sew I sew by day and by night, by night. but my own wedding dress no time for that. What's the point of all this sewing? Why you'd call it a sweatshop? It was hot in the summer. <laughs> it was very hot in the summer. Oh, I knew how to sew in Europe, yes. I used to help my sisters, they were uh, dressmakers. I've sewed myself sick, I've sewed myself blind. Every jab of the needle pricks my own heart. He'll be married this week. I don't wish him ill. He'll forget what used to be. I just want to sleep. Patches I can still put on. But I don't sew much anymore. I used to make a lot of things for myself, but 
I don't need it anymore. I got lots of schmatters. <laughs> So I knew how to work on a machine, but uh, not an electric machine. But they showed me one thing. You just have to be careful not to put your fingers underneath the needle. I spoke Jewish. <laughs> I spoke Jewish to all the girls. <laughs> one of the girls who was sitting across from me, I spoke to her Jewish. She said, I'm not Jewish. <laughs> Why did we strike? We wanted more money. <laughs> Everybody wants more money. It's tradition, you gotta eat simmers.